Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and to our brand new FIFA 22 video. This is Leo here bringing you another special player review. And what a player we got here today, guys. He is definitely going to be broken. His name is Fikasho Tomori. And he is a club legend for me because last year I did pack his foot birthday card. And he was one of the best center backs I had tried out in FIFA 21. And now in FIFA 22, he gets a 79 rated card. And I was looking through YouTube and I saw nobody had done a review on this cheap broken beast. He's basically the Joe Gomez form the Serie A. And that is how he should be able to perform on the pitch today. I did buy him for 7k and that is super cheap if you can't afford the likes of Koulibaly or I don't even know how much Skriniar is going for. But tomorrow is definitely going to be a big option and a great linkable card because you can do Serie A Barclays Premier League combo or you can go straight full Serie A. It doesn't really matter because he does have the English link to that league as well so he is definitely going to be a usable card this year he is 6-1 medium medium right footed two star skill moves four star weak foot phenomenal there from the weak foot department that's just going to help me out whenever i'm trying to take the ball away and trying to do an accurate pass with my opponent pressures but let's talk about the pace f82 78 interception 78 interception 78 acceleration guys Sorry, I gotta wake up. I just took a nap. 86 sprint speed as well. With the anchor chemistry style, it does go up to 91. And then also the acceleration will go up plus 5. I am gonna get him on full 10 chemistry so he can get that full pace boot from the anchor. Onto the dribbling of 65, 73 agility. His side to side movement should feel really smooth. So I like that. The 79 reaction, 76 composure, good as well. It should not be an issue because there's not a lot of special cards out at the moment. Onto the defending of 80, guys. Very well rounded from the defensive stats. 80 defensive awareness, 82 standing tackles being the uh the best two of the defending side and with the anchor chemistry styles basically everything's in the 90s and you like to see it especially from the standing and sliding tackle department and lastly the the 79 physical 81 strength 79 aggression good stuff uh, there to close out the introduction for fishako tomori player traits he has no player traits and i'm excited guys is he broken is he not that is a big question man should i keep him on my city ass guide or not this is the squad i am running him in in a 4-3-1-2 and he's gonna be next to the broken that is eder militao so let's get on to the gameplay portion of the review and see how good this card is all right let's go tomori see the pace side to side movement hey, hey i blocking there Nice, nice, there we go. Look, he was able to recover. Bad pass right there. I passed it to the right back. I don't know what the game is doing, but he was able to recover to that side-to-side -side movement, and that is why I like the agility on this card. And already two highlights in less than four minutes. It's going to be a jam-packed episode, guys. All right, I'm okay, see. Let's go. Oh my goodness, Tamori. Let's go. AI blocking on Tamori is definitely a big plus. Nope, nope, nope. Tamori's too, too fast, man. The sprint speed right there. He thought he was going to get a through ball medic with the mobile, but not on Tamori. So guys, that concludes game number one for Fikasho Tomori. Yes, my opponent rage scored at 5-1, I believe. But Tomori did get a 7.2 rating, the highest out of my defensive backline. And good stuff. Not, not Nothing to complain about. His AI blocking seems to be the best thing on this card. And also, obviously, his pace. He was able to catch up to that through ball on Immobile. But let's go on to game number two and see if we can get more highlights and show how good and broken this Tomori card is. go tomori there we go look at that ai blocking what am i telling you guys tomori's ai blocking is insane oh my goodness tomori stopping cantona guys stopping cantona what else is there to show guys tomori's really really broken
Nice, look at Tomori, oh my goodness. I'm really liking his defensive awareness, man. He's at the right place at the right time most of the time. <laughs> I don't know how many times I said times, but you get what I'm trying to say, guys. Tomori. Let's go with Tomori. Oof, 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 oof. I accidentally slid a second too early. Or I think Tamori was going to get that. Let's go. Get out of here. There we go. Back to back. Key clutch. Standing tackles for Tamori, man. And I don't know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I love you, Tamori. What a... I, Tamori is incredible, guys. Who needs LaCroix? Who needs all the other, play, other players when you have Tamori? When you have Tamori, when you have Vinicius? Come on! There we go! Goal, goal, goal! We do get the fortunate bounce, guys. But I will take it all day long. This goal would have not been possible without Tamori's incredible gold-saving tackle standing tackle whatever you want to call it and you're just seeing how broken he is man and this player is no joke at all look how fast he is man look how fast he is to recover right there and he was able to make my opponent think i was about to get a standing tackle in and that's all the pace, guys. That is the sprint speed of Tomori. Thank you very much. If Cantone can't get past Tomori, I don't know who will, man. Maybe Messi. That's about it. So I'm going to call Fijaco Tomori the Cantona stopper. I cannot believe he was able to stop 90 rated Cantona. That is how broken this card is. I hope you enjoyed those two games because definitely I had a lot of fun in this review with the center back, guys. That is how impressed I was with this card. So let's go straight into the pros. Number one is obviously gonna be the 86 sprint speed, a big pro there. You saw whenever they do a through ball meta or something like that and Tomori has to catch up, he is able to do that because of the high sprint speed. Another big thing that I did like on this card, guys, the 79 reactions, they feel about 85 to 88. That's what I'm gonna tell you. That's how good his reactions are when it comes to his AI blocking, man. The AI blocking on Tomori is just on another level. And hopefully you got to see that, especially in the second video. On to the next pro. I'm gonna put the 80 defending as a big pro, guys. The He's very well-rounded when it comes to uh, the interceptions, awareness, and all them both standing and sliding tackle. So I'm just gonna put the 80 defending there. Another big thing that I did like on this card is the 80 one strength as well those are the big four pros that i can think of of this card and now on to the cons i would say uh con on this card is gonna have to be the 78 acceleration it does uh, affect them just a little bit in game so uh just be aware of that but the sprint speed definitely bails him out there and then also i'm gonna have to give the 76 composure just because i know if you are playing with him in a month or two maybe that composure might lit you down just a little bit but aside from that this card is fantastic and that's why for meta rating i'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10 for meta and final rating an 8 out of 10 i gotta leave room for error in case he gets promotion cards and yes he is getting a higher meta rating because that is how broken this tomori card is but anyways i will conclude today's review hopefully helped you out in the setting whether you want to get this card or not and you enjoyed this review before i let you guys want to say thank you so much for your support on instagram and youtube lately y'all have been killing it with the support and i love Love seeing that guys so please take a second out of your day like this video subscribe to the channel and expect more reviews later on this is leo i bid you goodbye and good night